want to talk about something for a second because the government have said, you know, nobody travel unless it's completely essential. Um, and then they release a green list saying, oh, you can go here, you can go there, you can go everywhere. Um, but you can't go here, you can't go there. Um, but if you can't, if you want to, you can go there. If you, if you don't want to, you can go there and everything. Like, you know, the more, the very country, this government contradicts themselves very much and the last government contradicts themselves very much. And um, because the advice is, you know, not to travel at all, full stop, not to travel anywhere at all. And um, then all of a sudden they come around with a green list and say, oh, it's safe to go here, it's safe to go there. It's still in that country. Um, you know, then people, I'm sure the people literally, you know, don't really want a ton of people turning up. Um, I'm sure they don't want that after what happened in Italy and Spain. I'm sure they just don't want that because they went through, them two countries went through hell um, with the coronavirus. And I'm sure to God, because Italy's, Italy's on the list as far as I know. Um, Finland's on the list. Obviously, Finland handled it very well. I handled it better than Ireland did anyway. Um, I think Greenland isn't it? Greenland's on it. But um, another thing about yeah, I don't think in Greenland they will let you on Greenland. Because, you know, they, you know, there's only 11 cases there. Um, but just the thing is, you know, why is there a green list? The question is to the government, why did they say, you know, non essential, don't go unless it's completely essential? And um, then turn around and say, oh, you can go here, you can go there, you can go everywhere. Um, and it's just mad, it's just mad when they're saying, oh, it's non essential, don't be going here, don't be going there. Um, you think if there was any you know, sane country, any sane government, they'd be saying to their people, you know, hold the hold the hold the bang hold the bang wagon. Um, you know, we live in an island. And right, just listen to this. We have tried we have a lot of places you could go in Ireland, a lot of lovely sites. Why not go to one of them instead of going abroad? Um and help the Irish economy ba bounce back. Um help Irish businesses back. But um no the government are like, you know, go here or go there or go everywhere. Um you know, it doesn't really make, you know, it doesn't make the most sense because if I was teaching at the moment, I say to the people of Ireland, you know, not to go anywhere. Um, just stay in your own island and you'll visit, you'll visit other counties around you and visit other counties. Like, you know, it's amazing, you know, when you ask people whether they're here, whether they're there, whether they're everywhere. Um, I was at Newgrange in County Mead once. Um, and it's amazing how many people, and that's only a county away, Mead's just right beside us, um, in Calvin. In the other side of the cabin. Um, it was amazing how many people, you know, never were in Mead. And, you know, never stood foot in Mead. Um, and never went to Navan and never did that. And they go, and they hit in Spain. They go to Spain. They go to Portugal. They go to New Zealand. They go here. They go there and everywhere. Um, and they don't go around the own country. Um, and Ireland has so much stuff for Like, my God. Like, I, I can't tell you. There's not a country in the world that can match Ireland. On, first of all, it's beauty and it's hospitality. It's, you know, beautiful villages. It's beautiful... Um, towns and villages, spirit of hospitality, um, it's friendliness and everything. Um, nobody, no, no country in the world can match that. But no, it's just I, I don't know. It's just with the government, they don't seem to understand. You know <laughs> that what they said where really, they did contradict themselves. They're like, don't go anywhere, unless it's completely essential. But you know, we're going to release a green list anyway. It doesn't make you know if you think about it, it doesn't really make much sense. Um, I'm sure people would agree, it doesn't make much sense. It's the same what you know, people coming into the country are supposed to isolate, and then they're like, what the hell? Everybody can come in, nobody has to isolate. It doesn't make much sense, does it? But, you know, we live in a country that has logic. Uh, but right here, this government has loads of logic. Me whole, me whole knows, <laughs> me whole, me whole man knows a lot. Um, he knows. <laughs> I mean, that's enough jokes, anyway. And you know, I'm sure people get what I'm saying, you know. You know, you get what I'm saying. I'm sure people get the gist of what I'm saying. It's kind of contradicting himself. Because if I was t T-shirt, you know, I would do it that way. I would say to people, you know, there's so many beautiful places in Ireland. You can go down the cliff to the cliffs of Moher. You can go everywhere. You can go to beautiful places in Ireland. There's so many beautiful places. Like I could name a hundred off the top of my head that you could go to. That it's a lovely day out, a lovely weekend away. Um, instead of flying off to Heal Down everywhere. Um, and help local businesses bounce back. And help the Irish economy bounce back. Um, but you know, this country, you know, again, no government, there's never been logic in our government, but anyway, thank you for watching, subscribe more, take care.